All right, I'm back. All right, let's get back to this bridge and welcome. We'll run for fun. How you doing? Yeah, so that's a totem of undying. And what it does is it gives you back two hearts, I think, and then it gives you a, a really fast regen um, effect to hopefully help you survive whatever it was that killed you in the first place. I originally had two, but then on the way back from the forest mansion going through the nether, I fell to my death and used up one of them. Alright, so let's go. Oops, I don't need those. Um, oh no, I finished those. Oh yeah, I was going to show, let's, let's take a quick boat ride to show everybody the bridge I'm working on. Because I do have the other end is mostly done. So let's take a look at that, then we'll dig up some more in the site. I'll make some more breathing potions. We'll go to the village. We have a strangely cut tree. I haven't seen that happen in a long time. Used to, usually that meant that that was the boundary of a chunk. So I bet, I bet that is the boundary of a chunk right there. Cut that part of the tree off, and then cut that part of the tree off. Used to happen a lot. One of the older versions. Oh, well, that ship is upside down. Huh. So here's the bridge we're working on. So there'll be four spans like this on either side. And then in the middle there will be a double span. Probably the same type of design but much bigger arch. And that's where I'm trying to recreate the uh, ships. One of the ships, and then I want to see what it's built like because all these ships here are partly wrecked. But I think if I look at enough of them, I can get the full design pattern and recreate it. I mean, I'm sure I could look it up online, but I'd like to figure that out by myself. Yeah, so that's the uh, bridge, and there's the ender underside of it. Purple concrete. Which turned out looking really good with the combination of stone and the arch attaches down to those posts kind of halfway down the uh, water. And there's some embedded Glowstone along the top of the arches to uh, light things up a bit. There's nice your piece there. So that's what we're trying to make. Dolphins swimming with us. And all kinds of bad guys on my bridge.
What I did not do is put a torch down here. Let's use this as a sleeping platform. Should be safe. What the heck? Oh, Hemodi, thank you for the follow. Sorry, I missed that. Hey, and they're kind of welcome. Alright, let's get some more up because I probably need about at least 8 to 10 stacks to complete the next tower. Or at least get it up to water level. So let's go dig up some more. Bridge comes along pretty well. We got two of the piers done on this side. We need two more. And then we can start laying in the gra granite arches. Hey Swedish, how you doing? Welcome. Alright, so we got this one. Here lava everywhere. Hey Schmick, welcome. Hi, good morning to you as well. Sounds just very angry. Even the water sounds angry. All right, this. So I dig down. I have to be careful. Time. Angry water, yeah. That music all of a sudden got really loud. I'm looking for andesite. We're gonna make our bridge support piers out of it. How you doing, Neon Flux? Welcome, Harley. Welcome. Uh, this is a single-player world. 
I've been working on this world since um, 2014. Actually, the fifth anniversary is coming up, March 8th. And the site pillars, yeah. It's uh, andesite pillars, granite arches, and purple concrete um, beams. So I have to come back for this granite later. Right, I've already been up. No, that's my stairway. I've already been over here, I think. I don't think there's any andesite over here. Nope, just granite. Uh, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I need about ten stacks total. Oh, there we go. There's more. Grab the gold. So we need that for the potion stuff. after this one we'll have enough so we'll go make jump in the ocean make a uh, next pillar I made a bridge out of gold no <laughs> nothing that rare uh, the closest thing I made to you know make making it hard on myself was the uh, um, the suspension bridge made the tower's made out of um, nether brick. Using concrete is also a bit of a challenge because having to make it out of sand and gravel and then having to, uh, you know, wet it down and then dig it up a second time. So we have 38, so I need one more because I have one spare block in the chest up on top. So, oh, that's what I needed, 39. And I came from this way. Yes.
meant to make stairs. Yes, we're gonna lay in one of these all the way to the ocean floor. good. Let's get our last two potions. Hey Tuba, welcome. Oh, the command is old. Exclamation part, exclamation point old. Got to replace this one. Ah, uh, yes, polished die right. I forgot what the original looked like. Alright, so here we are. Have our marker markers on the ocean floor to guide us. So I want to drink the night vision first. Actually I want to wait for nighttime. Let's wait and sleep. Because even though I have the night vision and it won't have any problem seeing, we still don't want uh, mobs jumping in from the bridge here and disturbing the work. It, um, the road here is the actual main project of the, of the world. So it leads from spawn, which is 13,000 blocks that way, and goes another 7,000 blocks that way, and then another 20,000 blocks beyond spawn that way, so 40,000 blocks. Hey, Edrin, how you doing? All right. That there, that there. All right, so night vision first. And water breathing. Get rid of those. Get the site ready and die. There's the markers. Get back. Actually scared me. Three by three subway system on the ground. Yeah, those are fun. I've done that before. Is that, is that me blooping or is that one of the drowned? So around that one, it's the flattest surface I think I've ever worked on in the ocean. I guess there's no reason I can't grab all this too. Is 
because I'll need this gravel later. And then finally connect the two. Floating gravel, I know, right? Plebs are needed. Plebs are needed. Buka Black with the follow thing of which welcome to the chill team. Okay, no bad guys around. At work. Work at work. I didn't take this one up. this gravel I need to go get it now because it's it'll expire by the time my um, potions run out and right on time the surface. Foundation too. No, I might do that later. That way I have access to the seafloor and 
below. Put a ladder down the one that sides. But probably not. Well, I might do those in the tower above the water, put a ladder in so I can get down to the sea level in case I fall in or something. I can get out and get up to the bridge surface. All right. Uh, you can use sponges or you could just drop gravel or sand. Compared to how much sand I dropped for the monument, this is nothing. Yeah, have my sponges in the um, um, ender chest so I can get them from anywhere on the map. There we go. Twenty left. Um, there was that one boat over here. Upside down boat. Is it over here. Take a quick look. Just the pillars for dot docks. Yeah, you get, you get the sponges from underwater monuments. Alright, let's see what's going on down here. Ooh, there we go. Guess it'd help if I use that. Ooh, coal. Very treasure map. Now, guys, no. Be good. Be nice. And then we have our upside down ship. We have all kinds of other goodies. Running out. Dang it. Curse of Banishing. Potatoes. Yeah, night vision. Night vision, yeah, that's a great combination if you're going to do um, underwater work. Night vision and water breathing. All right, so there's still some stuff to get from that one. Oh, let's go back. Oh no, I got the treasure map on both of them. I, I want to say I've already been there. I think I already have this treasure. All right, Eon Flux, have a good one. Thank you so much. Catch you later. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, see, I dug out one here already. So I think I already have this one. Let me go ahead and... Ooh, and see the bridge, though. Uh, let me go ahead and just expose this map. What's the other, what's the other map like? Same one. Alright. Are this? Yeah. So making sure the X didn't like subtly shift a few pixels.
It's too bad these maps were like numbered or something. Hey Warden, how you doing? Welcome. Oops, let me go back this way a little bit. There we go, and just a little bit over this way. Now uh, let's go back to the village. It's because we have to make new potions. Bump into the fish. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep first. Then we'll go over the village, make new potions. So let's be exposed a little bit. And for again, for anybody new just dropping by, we'll swing by the rest of the bridge. Show the uh, plebs are needed. Plan design here. New chill team member Sticks 007. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. So here's what we're, here's the end goal here. So we have the pillars, then we have the granite arch, then we have purple concrete. That's kind of the support beams that hold up the road itself. And there's four arches on either side, then there's going to be one big arch in the middle. <laughs> all right all our villagers doing their villager things there those all go there books glassware goes here all right we need a puffer fish golden carrot one more of those and two of those Weather ring potion, but we want it to last a long time, so redstone dust.
Gonna have to do some more fishing. Look at the sea. Okay, look at the sea is getting treasures. There we go, water breathing eight minutes. Go ahead and do some more fishing after we do this as well. So please wait for a second. Use them just to leave some inventory room. I actually picked up a lot of gravel there. We'll do a little bit of fishing. Gonna go do some dishing. <laughs> nice. Finally, that for eight minutes of night vision. Now we'll go over to the pond over here, do some fishing, see if we can get a puffer fish or two. Then we'll head back for the next round of adventures. Well, we'll go into the mine Clips here, needed. dig some new chill team member. Power guy, Docil, thank you very much. Welcome to the chill team. I will dig up some more andesite here in the mine here. I can probably harvest some pumpkins too. Nice mending book would be nice. <laughs> Salmon. I forgot to add the maggot on the hook. Yeah. It would be nice if you could. Uh, add bait to uh, make it more effective or certain baits for certain kind of fish if you're looking for puffer fish then this kind of bait looking for cod this kind of bait get out of here scaring the fish away Come on, fishy. Two salmon, three cod.
Four cod. Come on, puffer fish. Oh, we're getting a lot of cod. Doesn't phases of the moon have something to do with fishing in Minecraft? I think it does affect some things. I read the wiki a while back, but I can't remember. So many cod. Like you get more fish during certain phases and more treasures during other phases. Or I might just be remembering wrong. I never have time for that anyway. It's like, I need to fish now, so I'm fishing now. Man, nothing but fish. Not even a lily pad or anything. I mean, I'm looking for fish. I'm, I'm looking for puffer fish. You can hunt them directly in a warm sea, I think. Warm ocean. I've never had this many times just be fish. Usually get, you know, the leather boots, lily pad, stick, other junk. Especially since I have a luck of a C3. You know, that, so that should be getting um, more items on average. Lure is the one that gets more fish. I think fish is faster. Alright, one more. Because we already have the potions we need. I like having more. I like having backup puffer fish. So I think I already have some in the. Uh, in their chest. Nope. Nothing but cod and salmon. I should have added the maggot. That was, that was the key. Yeah, I have a few few spare there. 
Just wanted to refill. Cod, salmon, cooked salmon, tropical fish. And then that goes there. Good on the arrows. Um, that, that. Play extra blaze rods for potion racks. Anyway, let's head back. Codes of War with the host. Thank you very much. Hey, Codes, how you doing? Welcome. Oh yeah, I need to go mine first. Let's go mine. And then we'll come. So I need... 10-ish stacks of andesite. How are you doing, Codes? Welcome to you and your viewers. Doing good? I'm doing fantastic. Just get down. Just get down. Get down. There. Stop trampling the farm. Then he goes to trample that farm. Fine. Cartographer. TwitchCon, yes I am. So we were, we've been talking about uh, arrangements. Alright, so I think we have uh, some in the ceiling. San Diego is a really good place to have it too. Convention center is great. The uh, downtown area right around there is really good. All the stuff you need right within just a few blocks. It's going for the lurk. Thank you very much, Anarchon. the next soundtrack um probably Probably better the Uber, yeah. Parking, parking uh, downtown or the convention center is usually pretty bad. Plebs are needed. New chill team member Twinkle Twenty Four. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Uh, what's going to be? Oh yeah, it's going to grab. Axe here, so I can clean out. Stuff here. I 
I saw some endosite. Reset the beginning. Hey Twinkle, how you doing? How you doing? There you are. Um but um, most of the hotels are really close to the convention center. And if you're in the outlying areas, there's also light rail uh, that hits some of those areas. It runs right in front of the convention center. this gravel later so I might as well grab it now. Finish cleaning these out. Can use them later. Alright, anything down this way? More gold. Lapis, which I actually do need for the purple dye for the um, granite. No. So let's go ahead and grab that fortune pick. for the end of site I came here for. For some andesite, there it is. So 
So when we get this, let's see how much we have. We have like four stacks in the um, upstairs in the village. So we need about 10 stacks total. Gonna get some sleep. Alright, have a good one. Thank you so much for the raid. Awesome stream. Nice. Thank you. Catch you later. Have a good day tomorrow. Have a good weekend. That's probably a second vein. It's attached to this one. A little bit more room. I think I can drop, put down. Not really. String maybe. Thousand biddies, holy moly, curse sploosh, wow look at that splash, <laughs> knocked all the bits out of the cup, thank you very much, very very generous of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sacrifice the string for the greater good. Alright, so I can keep track of how many more I can get. I do have room for more coal since the stack isn't full. Fifty-seven. All right. Let's. That's like how do we get out of here? Some. I, have, I think I came down this. Let's get a full stack. this way for a little bit of darkness more in sight so this isn't the way I came chill break of work nice hey animal nope. 
Uh, here we go. This way. Nope. I recognize this little break. I just don't. Okay, we dug this out. There we are. We. Half the time is spent just finding my way out again. I'm doing really good. So how's your week? How's your week been? All right, let's sleep before any zombies appear. What are you doing in my house? Here, a zombie. Sounds pretty close. Okay, they're outside. Outside the fence. As long as they're over there, everything's good. Sheep just watching them burn. Alright, let's get rid of the drone. So we have those in there, those in there, extra wood in there, gold and iron up here. Wow, I have like four stacks of iron. Wow. Should probably smelt some. Lapis, so I should actually take with me. Gravel will take with. Cobble, like extra cobble, I can leave behind. Get our potions. Playing all the unfinished Pokemon games, nice. Hey, Haluk. Haluk Motivler, welcome, how you doing? Definitely want this. Gravel can stay behind. Yeah, that'll, that'll be a good assortment of stuff. You doing fine? Excellent. I'm doing really, really good. Um, yeah, got everything I need. Let's head back to the bridge. Actually, let's walk this way. See it from a new angle. So there's the bridge. This end of the bridge is mostly done. There's a few detail work I need to do, like put the finish the railing. Hey WJ, welcome. Yeah, 
Yeah, so here's the bridge from the this part of the bridge from being on it. So that'll be what it looks like when it's all done. And I'm trying to replicate one of the boats, sunken boats. From Korea? Well welcome. Alright, let's go the fast way though. Let's travel by boat. Because we're 900, this bridge is going to be 900 blocks long. And we're working on the other side. Here's what it looks like from underneath. Yeah, the boats are pretty fast. Probably one of the faster ways of traveling on Minecraft. So let's see what that's all about. Oh, that's the upside of that boat. So there's still a little bit of treasure I have to get out of that one. So we have to do this pier. So we'll do the um, underwater part with this and the site. Because I can do the above water stuff easy enough. Boats on come back to the ice. I think I saw, I was watching Some Minecraft stream, yeah, where they're using that method. I am from Sacramento, California, USA. Now you doing, Laurentius? Welcome. Yeah, all in survival. Been working on this world since 2014. Nice to meet you. Yep, nice to meet you too. Yeah, this is uh, Divinity Original Sin 2 soundtrack. Alright, so potions. Let's actually put them away in order here. Don't need the lapis right now. Let's convert the andesite. I still don't need all the gravel. in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Not as much as I want, but I think this will work. Yeah, sure is, but yeah, we'll, we'll usually understand what you mean. So you don't have to worry about getting it wrong too much.
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Alright, that instead of that. Okay, so this one we already did up to there. So we just have to do this one. This is the last underwater, uh, big underwater work where I need the breathing potion. I can do the granite arches that touch um, without the breathing potions. For this, I need the breathing potion. I think that's the deep side. And one of these sides, yeah, that one's on top of a little mountain. Right, so we can go ahead and drop those in the water. So, night vision first. Nope, I did, did the wrong order. Oh well. And in we go. This will be there. What I want to do here, however, is dig this down, maintain the illusion that the uh, and the site goes farther down. But on the other side, we are way down here. So these three. These three. Hello. Thank you for dying. Give me that XP. Another one. Now we need to connect these two. So that's what we have to build up to. Catch the DM1. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's. Um, I don't know if I'm. What time is it going to be?
I know Das wasn't able to make it. He got sick after doing the uh, Intrepid um, Kids Week. 2.30 a.m. my time? Well, that's <laughs> that's past. It's 3.30 a.m. now. Or is that Eastern time? No, no, that'd be your... No, they haven't be, even be... Even more too late. No, Matoro was going to be there. Eastern time. Or is that tomorrow? So that would be like 12.30 a.m. my time. 2nd of March. Okay, tomorrow. Might be able to catch it. Much more. Three minutes left. Still, mm, still pretty high up. No, actually, I better go grab this stuff because it's going to disappear. There's a drown down there. Hey Ben, how you doing? Welcome. Rifter, hello, welcome. Tomorrow, yeah, okay. Make it makes sense. I was really confused about the time before whether it was today or tomorrow. Yeah, so the Toro will be there. EJ will definitely be covering it. Das will probably be covering it. Um, I probably won't be streaming. Because I have to work tomorrow and then I want to try to get up to start the Saturday stream like 6 a.m. my time playing Dofus what <laughs> has the bot gone crazy Dolphin. Yeah, guys, Jeff, definitely check out Cherry Ben. He does some amazing Sims builds. It's like really detailed stuff. Wow, they're coming all over for me. Get out of here, doofus. So we're making bridge supports here. I 
definitely don't have enough materials to finish this. If I can get close to the ocean surface, then I can do the rest without um, using up a breathing potion. Kind of doubt it. my blocks. Oop. Potion's running out. Go away. Now, now it feels like uh, we're uh, in trouble. Oh, spiders up above. Plebs are needed. Plebs are needed. Wyoni, thirteen, fourteen. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the chill team. Oh yeah, that that's right, that forward swimming. Right, can I sleep without getting attacked? Creeper drop. I just said that just in case I, you know, called it. The habit of calling things like that. Anyway. That's right, if you crouch. Alright, so I need more insight. We shall prevail. We'll earn the right to sing a tale. Hurrah! <laughs> I haven't been in that cave yet. Been in this one, well there's some insight. That'd be that would be nice. But no, they they kinda of do their own thing. But if they ever ever had sharks that would they'd have to make the dolphins be your friends against the sharks. Creeper. I think there was a creeper down there last time I came up in this way. Looks 
I was definitely over here before. I think this is a, yeah, this is a inside dig out. Have a good one. Come back to work. Oh, creepers, yeah. It's like I think they they managed to get you know, even super experienced game players of the game, it's like, aren't immune to, uh, it's like, ah. this granite here soon yeah yeah they're pretty silent anyway yeah but not even hearing the hiss that's why I didn't go after that Where did I see the... No, okay. Oh, okay, this is a whole new place. Just in case. Nope, oh, creeper party. Here's the top of the ravine. Wow. So the top is above above water level. So the ring goes all the way up to the like there. Alright, one of the things we can do is we can go into our mine and dig up stuff. Let me get empty my pockets first though. Go 
That's my usual arrangement of stuff. So we have two, almost three stacks of andesite. Probably need seven or eight. Yeah, not even that much, but pretty close. All right, let's go into the mine, look for it. Or a hole this way. And look what I found. I dig down and maybe this gets out of reach. The original plan was to uh, dig a tunnel that way. Hey, Hatchules here. Hatchules here. Welcome. How you doing? Hatchule is here. There we go. Take a Take three tries, but got it. How are you doing? Welcome. And there's some more. Idea what that is. That's right, I should have been planting and uh, picking beets while I was waiting. Uh, 
fortune pick. For the red die to go along with this blue die for the purple die. I'm building a bridge, so I need the end site for the bridge supports. Then we'll be coming back for some granite. I think I have enough. Yeah, let's go ahead and go up. Is it nighttime? Yes. Let's be wimp, sleep down here. I'm not sure what that is. Is that a witch throwing potions? So there's the bridge I'm building. The arrows are not supposed to bounce off creepers. So we'll get, take this over, actually it's break time again, take a break every two hours and make sure I stretch my legs, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So granite can go in there, iron can go there, let's see how much andesite we end up with here. Plebs are needed. Four, five, five and a half stacks. Flux and popcorn with the funnel. Thank you very much. Welcome to the chill team. J, J. Pedris, also welcome. How are you doing? All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. So I'd stretch my legs and we'll be back. Well, we have one of these to finish off, or two of these to finish off. So there's this one, there's another one, one beyond that, and one beyond that. And I'll also show you guys what the bridge looks like. So, be right back, guys. And we'll continue working on the bridge. BRB. combs it out all day. He twists and rubs and tweaks the nubs. He strokes and pokes like all the blokes. He say he'll touch it all day long. And comb 